Okay. There he is. What's yeah. up, family? If it's your first time checking out the show, let me know what city, what state you're coming in from. If you're outside of the U.S., let me know what country you represent. In the building right now, I got the man, the myth, the legend, Scarface is in the building. And, okay, we- and he's telling me he's feeling good. You feeling good, homie? Hey, man. I'm glad to be alive, bro. You know that glad first time. Yeah. You know the first conversation we had, I relapsed. Right? Yeah, I fought the COVID. I fought I fought the COVID double uh bilateral pneumonia in both lungs and kidney failure in my house. Yeah. So when when all went back to shit again, I went back to the hospital. I just got out of the hospital one day. Right. If you look on if you can you see this? That's my new lifeline. Let me see it. I couldn't see it. So what does that do? That's for dialysis. Uh, that's that's for dialysis. That's my port for dialysis. I'm gonna see if I can move this this thing a little bit here. That's my port. How, how does that sound? I, it sound like do money. Sound like new money? Sound pretty good to me. What sound like you? All right. So um, I guess what I want to know now is like, wh- what is the doctor's orders for you right now? Um, I got to change my entire diet. I got to do uh, dialysis four days a week. Four right. hours a day. Four hours, wait. Four days a week, three hours a day. Right. Yeah, and that's just that's that's taking all my blood out and then cleaning it and putting it back in my body. Right. You know, before the COVID, I never had uh, any. Excuse me, I never had kidney before COVID. Mm-hmm. But so COVID, a, lo- yeah. a lot of people were, were were you know asking questions about you, man. A lot of people were confused about what was really going on with you. Uh, you know, you went you went into the hospital, uh, and then you got checked out. Turns out that you had COVID. You left, and then you were at home for how long before you went back? Probably about three weeks. Three weeks, and then you yeah. went you went back and, and and explained to the people, you know, what, what what's going on now. Well, when I went back to the, when I, I, so I didn't, I could not go to the hospital with COVID because I didn't want them to put me on a, a ventilator. Uh, I didn't want, because you know, everybody putting on ventilators is, is fucking dying, bro. You know, so, uh, and I, I don't think there's any way that you can really treat the COVID. So I would just be in the hospital on a fucking ventilator and I would have rather died at home. Mm-hmm. You know, then a little bit in a hospital room with no toilet, no shower, no nothing. They just had me in quarantine in the hospital. And I could have just quarantined in my house. See what I'm saying? Right. So that so that that three weeks, that month that I did uh in my house was, was like hell, bro. I couldn't keep food down. I couldn't get comfortable. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't stay woke. Uh, and like I said, I couldn't breathe, bro. Like I could not right. breathe, man. And it, it was the worst time of my life because I couldn't keep, I couldn't, I couldn't do nothing. Walk, my legs were like, uh, like bags of water. Like it really losing on me. And, uh, my kidneys fell, so now I can't keep food down. I'm itching all over my. Um, I can taste like rubber, like car tire in my mouth. You know, my kidneys fail, bro. Um, and just you know, hanging on that string of, of death, man, make you really appreciate life because I I was inches away from death, and if you let the doctors tell it, they don't know how I survived, but I do because outside yeah, of, outside of being blessed, man, I'm, I'm resilient. I'm 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 mean, you know, I'm, I'm tough. And and to be that close to death, man, make it make you really realize that, man, I'm gonna go live now. 
Like I'm yes, just like, I used to be guarding Willie. I ain't go nowhere. I was just gonna go to one spot only and come back to the house. I'm like, I'm trying to go see the world now, bro. Right. Like being that close to death opened up my eyes to let me know there's a whole lot of shit out here that I need to see before I get out of here. Right. But yeah, man, I was I couldn't breathe. Well, you're walking now again. That's good. Yeah, I still got to take it. What you call it? I still might have to do rehab, though. Because if you ain't walked in a month, you've been laying down for a month, like you got to learn how to do this shit all over again. Right. I'm walking, yeah, I'm walking around this motherfucker like I don't know what I'm doing. Matter of fact, I went to the grocery store yesterday to get all of the shit that I could uh, actually eat now. You know, I can't eat the same shit no more. Um, and I had to ride around in a cart. You know, my mm-hmm. cars, the old people be riding on and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was on that. Man, what Man. you think about what you what you think about these people out in in, in Georgia going back to uh, normal tomorrow? That's 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 stupid. You know, I think that they want us as black people to go out there and do that shit and fuck ourselves off. Mm-hmm. All right. Because clear, clearly, we don't know shit about this. This uh, we don't know shit about this disease or this um, whatever the fuck they want to call it. You know, we don't know enough about it to be wanting to get back and starting life all over. But notice that the barber shops and the beauty shops are opening again. All right, and so we can pass that shit out amongst ourselves and kill ourselves. Man, that's the way I'm looking at it because. It's not that big a deal, man. They're providing different ways for us to take care of our business, you know. With 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 with, with uh with them um the what people with the their uh, mortgages like they should attack the, the the mortgages that people miss on the back end of the fucking loan. Really wanted us. If they really, really wanted us to be safe, they would take more precaution than what they're doing right now is opening this shit back up, especially if it's still running rampant. And you got 45,894 people that didn't die from this shit already. You feel me? So it lets me know that they don't have it, you know, at bay right now. But they want to open it. You know, yeah. their money is more important than our lives. And I get it. If that makes sense. Well, your governor, the governor in Texas ain't no better. That was stupid. He said that um, a, a couple of lives. What's what, what's better? You know, the economy or, or the life? He said the economy. He said there's some things that are more important than living. Yeah, and that was the economy. Yeah, that's dumb. But we know where they stand. Mm-hmm. And our life don't mean shit to them. And we should take that shit in consideration when, when, when we make our moves. Like our lives don't mean shit to them. Uh-huh. Oh, here, Mike. What's up, Mike? Brad. You hear me? I can hear you. It's Michael Rappaport. <laughs> How you feeling, my man? I'm good. I'm on live with Willie right quick. I'm going to call you right back. Tell, tell Gangsta Willie I said, what up? Michael Rappaport said, what up, Me and Mike gonna chop it up in a bit. But, hey, but look here, Brad. Hit me, hit, hit me back, hit me back when, you, when you're done. I'm glad you're feeling better, man. I'm thinking I, about you. I hit you a little bit. Okay, Mike. Yo. Hey, Brad. Yo. Look here, man. You gonna have to respect my journalistic and motherfucking skills, bro. You can't be motherfucking taking no goddamn calls while I'm interviewing you. Willie, relax. Kind of shit is that? Relax. I'm on. I'm on the show, man. Where you at anyway, man? I don't even see you on the, on the live. I'm trying to get back in. Hold up. Y'all saw that shit? He just gonna take a fucking call in the middle of the interview. <laughs> don't do that. Totally uh-huh. fucking disrespectful, man. This this <laughs> goddamn group couldn't get along, y'all. Like uh, hey, hit the thing, Will. Uh. <laughs> hey, put the blame on me. 
when I'm trying to hit it, it ain't doing nothing. Let me do it again. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yo. Back yeah. in. Okay. Nah, man, that's my fault. I, I just seen my phone ring. I, I didn't even realize I was on this. Yeah, yeah you, got, you can't be doing that type of shit, man. Show some respect to your goddamn brother, man. I show respect to my brother, man. My bad, my brother. The next time I phone it, I'm ignoring it. That shit I got to go through, y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Damn. I'm, 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 I'm in here trying to give a report to help the people out, trying to get the people concerned about you asking me all these damn questions. Man, they've been asking me questions yeah. as long as you've been uh, out of pocket. And I'm trying to bring the damn information to them. I finally get you here and you talking to other motherfuckers. I mean, granted that Mike, my boy, and everything, and we, it's Fuck, all man. Hey. Damn, bro. If it would have been, been anybody else, man, right, I would have hit you for it. Obama call you, bro. You don't answer that phone, man. man. Hey, it's a couple of phone calls we got to take. Not, no, not, not doing no interview. Hell no. Nah. Like, if Willie called me, I'm going to answer. If Obama called me, I'm going to answer. If Jay called me, I'm going to answer. Now you gonna have to you gonna have to get you gonna have to get you a goddamn pager, bro. So so you so you can <laughs> you return your calls like that, man. You can't be doing no, no, no shit like that, bro. Man, you know I don't even do interviews, bro. So I don't, I don't have no interview ethic. That ain't no excuse at this at this I, point. Right now, my fucking back is itching, and I want to scratch this motherfucker on the interview. You want to scratch your back? That motherfucker itching too, Junior. So that's that's the thing that goes with with, with um um with, with kidney failure. Like you be itching like a motherfucker, bro. Like you just on some good dope. <laughs> itching. Do they give you something for that? Nope. I mean, I take dialysis four times a week. So once they get your fluids and shit down and urethra or whatever the fuck, like I'm new to this. Yeah. Like before the COVID, I never had uh, issues with my kidneys at all. Hmm. You feel me? So th th that should knock my kidneys out. Mm -hmm. And it was setting up to uh, put fluid or shit around my lungs and my heart. And that's why a lot of people die from this COVID shit because that shit is, 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 is it's attacking your organs. Mm -hmm. and, and, and people think that shit is fake. Like I was a dude on my uh, white boy on my YouTube channel talking about uh you ain't no real ghetto boy you a you a traitor because I don't fuck with Trump and you faking yeah. like the government yeah you faking cause you faking like the government is, is you down with the government with this shit like bitch I'm sick for real man fuck you and Trump and all his supporters mm -hmm. like the shit is real bro you know what I'm saying bro fuck you, that's fuck that's you. That's that's a good point. So this is a dude that was this was this a so-called fan? Nah, I mean he's a fucking troll in my opinion. You know, like we were talking about yesterday, we had a long ass conversation about people um that 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 speak out against uh what these fucking cowards do. And they'll for first they'll try to join you, and then when they see that you don't want to get down with them, then they'll start trying to assassinate you. And that's what this fucker did. You know, mm -hmm. I ain't a real ghetto boy because I'm down with the government. Man, fuck you. But yeah, sure right. Yeah. But it, it, but most of the world don't like Donald Trump. It ain't just it ain't just you. Nah, man, you got some deplorables that fuck with dude. Like for real. Yeah. Like I'm honestly, I honestly believe he's gonna get another four years. Because the popular vote, listen, because the popular vote does not matter. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have he, he he out he he got he got outshined by Hillary Clinton by three million votes, and this fat fuck still won. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why we need to start fighting that one man one vote. Fuck the electoral college, bro. But go ahead, my bad. I just get emotional when it comes to this fuck. No, I get it. I get it. Uh, you know, Trump is one of those people that. That's that nobody likes, uh, you know, even his mama didn't like him, but you know, she went on and kept him uh, because of family pressure. I heard something about uh, 
Uh, she wanted to give him up for adoption or something like that. Uh, you know, because he, he was born, he was born with a toupee. That's different from normal baby. <laughs> and he had a toupee when he was born. And the mama wanted to give him up at first, but the daddy said, this is my time right here. If I don't run this here all the way through, I'm not gonna be able to create anymore. So they kept him around, you know, out of a necessity, you know, to keep the blood, the blood, uh, you know, the bloodstream going. But yeah, they, they, you know, he was born with a toupee. And, yeah, and, uh, his daddy should have worked kind of. Like that was one of those nights. You know, and they had money, so they had a blender way back then. They was blending uh McDonald's fries and uh and uh Kentucky fried chicken and feed them like that. So this is kind of like what messed his mind up all of the cholesterol went to his head. Man, it's something man. they said, it's some kind of sickness he got, man, you know. Uh you know, some type of mental thing going on. I know he's a very old uh He's a deranged man. Yeah. Hey man, hey, check this out. So what are you talking about? I ain't swole. Hell yeah, no, I ain't swole, Dallas. I got a motherfucking port in my arm now. Shit. Where the hell I was waiting, man. I walk around this bitch looking like an Ethiopian. How many pounds did you lose? Uh Probably 30. 30 pounds and what, like, what was that, two, six weeks or two months? Probably about six weeks. About six weeks, right? Yeah, because I couldn't, I couldn't keep no food down, no liquids down. Yeah. So so what are you eating now? Can you eat anything you want? Every fucking thing. Everything. <laughs> everything. So you know, for the past couple of years, I've been a vegan, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. Now, man, I'm fucking going to McDonald's as soon as I get off the phone. Fuck it. Right. I'm going to get a Big Mac. <laughs> What's because I have to get, I got to get my shit back together, man. Like, I'm, 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 I got to get it back, bro. I got to get a massive amount of protein, Will. Like, I have to get that. Like, this shit is no joke. They drain every ounce of blood out of me every day. Well, every four days, I mean, for four days of the week. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and for the other three days, I got to be careful of how much fluid I take in, you know, because the fluid lay on me, the fluid don't go nowhere. Like, like I, I can't piss. So they got to come, they got to unpiss me. Yeah. Huh. Man, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Like, I don't how long, get how, the, after you do, after you go through dialysis, how long after you do the dialysis do you have to uh, chill out before you can like do anything strenuous? I don't feel nothing. You know what I mean? I could be on the machine, You're, but you feel weak. Don't you feel weaker? I don't feel shit. <laughs> I get the fuck up, and they be standing around me because they say people get dizzy and pass out. Right? I don't get dizzy. I get the fuck up, and walk right out. Well, if you're doing it like that, I'd like to document it and see it for like right after your next dialysis. I'd like to get a camera and see if you can run. Man, you're a cruel ass man, bro. Let me see you run a hundred yard dash. Dude, bro. <laughs> like you are a cruel ass man, bro. <laughs> Say, man, I gotta get some get back, man, on that damn phone conversation, bro. I need some get back, man. what I do? <laughs> oh, when I ask because Mike called. <laughs> yeah, I need some get back. What what's the process? So what's what is the process for you to get a new kidney? What what do you have to do right now? What's needed? I gotta take some. I, I gotta see if somebody a match, and then kill that motherfucking ass. <laughs> now, you you need two kidneys or one? I one, and then they're not gonna take the other two out. So every time I need a fucking kidney, they're just gonna put one in, and I'm gonna have the old ones. Okay. Right. So I can have fucking nine kidneys if 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 it comes to that, for what I hear. Okay. But do I really want them cutting on me? I don't know. I rather just fucking do dialysis and buy a machine, just take the machine with me, bro. Cause I don't want them to be fucking cutting on me, bro. Like that shit might hurt. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? 
Like it might hurt, bro. I was always paranoid of that, man. She was like, I don't want nobody cutting on me. Uh, I'd rather, I'm gonna die with all my parts. Oh that was yeah, the and I, last thing I want to do is fucking be put down with four kidneys and God be mad at me because I got somebody else shit in there. Hmm. They don't take your old ones out, they just put the new ones in from what I hear. Thank God to run somebody, that'll run some God hot if, if you got somebody else's kidneys. I mean, it'll probably piss me off. You know, I give all this shit to my kid and they fuck around and go get some shit from somebody else. Yeah, I could probably, probably be upset about it. No, I don't know. Just fucking. <laughs> so, so is, is, have they started the search yet for a kidney or what's the I just, this, this happened, bro. You know, I probably did my third or fourth uh, dialysis. I'm seeing three, four, five. Maybe my fifth dialysis now. And from what they're saying is, um, if that shit don't come back, they're gonna put me on the list. Because the COVID knocked it out, so hopefully it'll come back. But if it don't come back, then I'm gonna have to get on the list. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put a hit on somebody that got a kidney match for me. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. that shit been rumored about us now. But, um, you know, in, you know, in uh, where is that in China? You can, I heard you told me about that shit. Yeah, you, can pretty much, you can pretty much order some kidneys in China. Like they'll have your kidney, they'll have you on the operating table in two weeks. No, nah, I don't want to fuck around. I'll be two. moving. Do, does it do, now? Does it matter if you have some kidneys that are that are that are of a different ethnicity? I, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, damn, Will, why it would take you to ask a motherfucker a question like that? I'm just wondering. I'll be mean, wondering about things like that. I, maybe. I'd probably eat a lot of rice if I had Chinese kidneys, huh? What if you? What if? What, what if they had a match for you from from a, a, a racist dude, and you found out he was a racist, a white racist in America, like a, like a Confederate flag? I take both of his kidneys. <laughs> good answer, good answer. <laughs> oh, he ain't gonna need him. But <laughs> so I think a good story, man. So I um I uh had two blood transfusions, right? Mm -hmm. So the first one I was really relaxed, okay. But the second one, man, I was mad as fuck. And I'm thinking it had a lot to do with that guy's blood, man. Mm -hmm. Or whoever it was. Like, I was mad. Like, everything that they did that day pissed me off. Right. You know? and, I, and I attribute that to that blood that they put in me. So I'm thinking that, I, I mean, dude, I was fucking pissed. The bitch brought me fucking water. I was mad. She brought me food. I was pissed. Like, I just wanted to fight. And I couldn't even walk. But like when the, when the blood finally did settle, I got back relaxed. But the, but as soon as they got through to putting that blood in me, man, I was fucking pissed. So I'm thinking that either it was a mean ass old man's blood, or it was a a, a fucking white boy uh, pickup truck driving Confederate flag flying motherfucker that didn't want his blood in no nigga before I was pissed. Ooh. Well, I wouldn't want my blood in no nigga either. I'm going to give my blood to a king. <laughs> and I felt like a king after that. Give my blood to a king or a queen. You know what I'm talking about? That Can't man. no nigga have my blood. <laughs> too good. I worked too hard to purify this blood. Man, you know what? And I'm learning. I'm learning how to... Um... Learn how to relax, man, you know, and not be so, so, uh, um, so niggerish, you know. <laughs> you know, yeah, you, you, know, know what, you know, you know what I know. How, you know how they got Jewish and oranges? Like, I'm trying to be, I'm not trying to be not so niggerish. I'm going to turn myself into a chain. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I've been a king though. But I'm gonna stop using the word right now. I'll never use that word again. Agree. Not even on not even on my records, bro. I'm looking forward to hearing that. It's gonna be tough. I'm looking forward. Cause the, minute, be tough. Cause the minute you violate, the minute you get out of pocket, I'm gonna be like that old grandma at church. Like, like that dog, huh? You get that look like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Man, where where you know what I I I, I trip out on man when I talk to you every I look forward to hearing Erica come out of nowhere and y'all spell <laughs> Oh, I get it, shit, yeah. <laughs> Family, er Erica is his wife, man, and they got a great relationship. I'm talking about, it's beautiful to see them interact with one another. And fight. And it's so cool that, you know, for him to have, for the homie to have uh, a woman in his life that makes him so happy. It's a this beautiful thing to and see. This is, what, and this is what I want everybody to take into consideration. Like, like she pulled me out of the fucking grave, bro. You know what I mean? Like she pulled me out of the grave. I'm on my deathbed. I'm dying. I'm throwing up all over the house. You know, I'm throwing up over everything. She getting me to the hospital. You know. Now, you got a whole lot of uh, girls that that women that 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 say they'll do this or do that. And they act like this and act like that and honey crazy about you and all that shit. That's a fucking lie. Because when you hit rock bottom, you see who your fucking friends are. You see who your girlfriends are. You know, you see who you, you see who really fuck with you. You know, like you had motherfucking bitches that won't even check on you now. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, so like, like I, like I, I tell my kids and shit, man, get you a motherfucker you can live with. Get you a motherfucker you can live with, Will. Mm -hmm. Cause it ain't nothing like being around, oh shit, I don't know what's going on with my phone. Ain't nothing like uh, 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 being around a motherfucker that, that don't get it. You feel me? Like, they don't fucking get it. Yeah, I heard, uh, I've been hearing people saying they can't wait to get away from their spy spouses. They even got a video going nah, on. I know, I know a few motherfuckers, Will, that I'll never talk to again in life. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't even want to talk to him no more. And I always tell my brother, man, like you, like anything that happened three or four years ago, you don't even want to go look back at that shit. You can't, you can't move forward looking back. You know what I mean? Like fuck them motherfuckers, man. Like you ain't even got to call me no fucking more. Like for real, like I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing that went on yesterday in my life. You know, as a matter of fact, like I, I really owe, I owe, I owe this woman because I was on my deathbed and that motherfucker sat there next to me. Wouldn't leave. And I tried to run her ass off. I did everything. Had new girlfriends, bought babies home and everything. She don't give a fuck about none of that. Put a weenie in another and some more water in the pot and keep it moving. So when out of that, so with that said, you know, everybody else ain't got no chance. That's the end of the story. And open my eyes right here, laying on this fucking floor, about to die. You feel me? So get you somebody. I can't, I can't. So I, I need to go back just to get some clarification on something you just said, uh, because uh, you know, in different parts of the, the nation and even world, different things mean, mean different things to different people. So I want to go back to uh, something you said about. Um, putting another weenie in the pot with some water in it. <laughs> you break that uh, uh, colloquial down. So I, you got to call Erica Badu on that one. <laughs> That's what Erica Badu said. She put another weenie in the pot and fuck it. Is that what Erica said? Yeah, it's funny as fuck to me. Yeah. Very colorful okay. word. Sound like something that E-40 might say. Yeah. Oh, world. Yeah, it's a it's a good thing, man, to to just to, to sit with somebody that you can actually sit with. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and, and converse with, and not have to tell a motherfucker that we don't get along. It would probably be best if we not fuck with each other no more. 
you know, you feel entitled to be a part of some shit that you can't be a part of. And, 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 and it's like, wow, I mean, it's really cut me off. So what are we gonna do about this uh, 50th, man? I know you planning on something, planning something real big. Man, you know, for my 50th birthday, Willie, I wanna, um, I wanna bring it to the table. You know, I want to have, I want to have, I want to bring us to the table. You know, all the people that we went to, that we grew up fucking with. You know what I mean? From 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 uh, light to to uh, uh, that came. Of, hey, you got a bunch of feedback going on. That's you. Tear that jam for me, yeah. Dum dum dum. <laughs> I don't know how. Yo, see that's you. So, what? What? what I mean, what, what? What? What's the plan, man? I mean, I know you can't give it all up, but you know, give the people a little insight on what that fifty is looking like. Because I, 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 I know it's even more after going through what you just went through. I know it's even more important now. So. On my 50th birthday party, I'm gonna have the fucking Tiger King in my shit. The who? The Tiger King. Tiger King? Man, you gonna get, the, you gonna get your ass up out of here with that. I'm gonna, have, uh, I'm gonna have the biggest fucking 50th birthday party ever seen, you know? If I don't, um, if I don't make it to 51, my 50 gonna be a fool. Mm -hmm. Everybody who you grew up listening to is probably gonna be at that show. You know, everybody that you grew up loving is, is, is gonna probably be at my birthday party. And it's gonna be huge, like huge. Mm -hmm. Like if this is my last birthday party, I'm gonna make sure that it's the biggest shit the world has ever seen. Now, now, it's just, is it just a party gathering or is it also some performances, uh, performances taking place? We, we're going, um, it's going to be bigger than the, it's going to be bigger than a party and performance. It's going to be like a, it's going to be a celebration, man. You know, people are going to be able to jam. And they're gonna be able to um, to party. You know, it's not it's not gonna be like a concert where you can't move around. You know how niggas have concerts. I'm sorry. You know how brothers have concerts and you can't move around. You strict. You know, you can't move. Mm -hmm. Well, this is gonna be like you're gonna be able to mingle with everybody there, but they still gonna do that thing type of thing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That and, and in between, in the meantime, and in between time, what's going on? You gonna get out on the golf course? No, I'm gonna try to talk your ass into doing another tour right quick. Let's do a farewell. Anyway, the hologram Bushwick building. Uh, like, I'm gonna walk away from the game, y'all. And I'm asking Willie to come and do a. Um, with his last farewell tour with me. Maybe see if the public enemy will, will, will join us in Cypress Hill or something. Everybody can do that farewell right quick. Hmm. Like this is it. Like I'm not, I'm I, I'm not gonna be um putting out any more songs or doing any more albums. Well, you good, you know, your legacy is secure. You don't you don't have to put out any more music. Legacy secure. Yeah. So that's that's it on the albums. That's it on the music. Yeah, I think so, man. I'm gonna be 50 years old. I gotta find something else to do. Mm hmm And then I got this fucking port now, so that ain't gonna work out too well. What about politics? Are you done with politics? Or are you gonna give it another now, shot? You know what? I, I may, I may take that. I may take the uh, the political uh, stage. Now, 
because I'm still, I, I, I'm such a damn fool, you know? And the shit that's going on in politics, they won't be able to get away with if I'm in politics. You know? What, what do you say to people who say, like, is the minute you start running you know, to become a politician, you become a candidate, the minute you do that, all of a sudden, the same uh, maybe opinions that you had in the past about something is all, all of a sudden a political opinion now. It's like, oh, he's a politician. That's why he's saying that. Did you get any of that? Did you get any of that when you were running? Well, I got a lot of people saying that I have to watch what I say because I'm in the political realm now. And I tell them I don't give a fuck about that. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I, I can't, I can't say that I'm going to change, that I would change anything about me jumping into politics. Even if somebody said that I'm doing that because of politics, I think they full of shit. You know, because I've always been solid. I have never changed my opinion on shit. You know what I mean? Like, if that's what it was, that's what it was, Will. You know, fuck all that. Well, I don't really think that they care about what a person says. I mean, Trump is in office, and he said every damn thing that a that that a a, a seven year old would say, huh? A seven year old. Yeah, he's he said everything under the sun, like things that come out of his mouth. I mean, you, they, they're things that I've never heard a dignitary say before. I've never heard of, let alone a president say. Uh, so they're not concerned about what you say. They, they, they don't, well, put it like this. They are. They're not concerned about language. Yeah. They're concerned about yeah. who's saying what they're saying. As a black pastor, man, he wears his suits. He, he, he wears these fucking cheap ass suits from Suit Mart. The motherfuckers are hard like, like carpet. He got nugget rings on and chains that he put over his tie. And he said some shit like, I'll never vote for a rapper. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm glad I'm working there. I get to address him <coughs> at his congregation. Fuck him. Mm -hmm. All right. Because if you look at, at, at what he's done in his life and what I've done in mine, what's the difference? What's the difference in what this preacher did? You know, he didn't smoke dope. He didn't fuck holes and slap motherfuckers and... You know, you don't know what he did or what, what I didn't did, but he won't vote for a rapper. You know? Right. Well, he's you know, out. I, I thought that was shitty. I, I thought that was shitty of, a, of of one black man to say that about another black man. So now, I have no mercy on him. I have no remorse for him. I have no love for him. So you know, when 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 he when he fucking going the grave, I want to go piss him. <laughs> Why you gotta wait till you go in the grave? You piss on him now. Well, I don't piss on his grave. Yeah, you piss on him now. Ain't like you got no action. Yeah, no now, yeah. motherfucker. He don't want to vote for a rapper. Fuck him. Yeah. That boy said, I ain't a motherfucking gentleman. Well, nice. got, yeah, these, these, those type of people, man, are out of touch. I, 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 see, I wouldn't even be like, I wouldn't limit myself to a title. I'm gonna ride with whoever ride. Like if somebody want to ride, I don't give a damn if you're a plumber, uh, you know, a, a rock star, whatever. If somebody got it. If they got the the heart and the tenacity, the will, the 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 drive to do it, you know, why would you vote for somebody else if they don't have all of those tools? And if, if they just yeah. because they went, just because you never heard them get on a record and use the B word or, or, or the N word or, you know, any other various- The F bomb. Any other various profanities, you know? Why, why would you just vote from somebody based on the fact that they went to Harvard? <laughs> you know, it's crazy. Keep in mind, that's, that's who running the country right now. A whole bunch of people who look a certain way and talk a certain way in front of the cameras but behind closed doors, they, they do they're doing they do. all kind of reckless and immoral things. For real. But they get to get away with it because they got the titles. Vegas about to open up the casinos, bro. What you say? Vegas about to open up the casinos. <laughs> so they're open. Texas is opening up when? Is it next week? Today. Today. Right, when on Friday. 
Friday. Okay, Texas is going to open up on Friday. How long are you going to continue to practice social distancing? I've been practicing social distancing for a long ass time, bro. Well, I know. I'm, I'm saying aside from your regular anti-people uh, stance that you've taken traditionally and historically, I need to know where are you right now You know, in the wake of this uh, coronavirus pandemic uh, with these new uh, rules and, and instructions that we're being given from these uh, people in the medical field? I don't think that, I, don't, I, I mean, shit, really, I don't know. I'm not, I don't fuck with nobody anyway. So it's not gonna be hard for me to socially distance myself from no motherfucking body, no way. I don't fuck with nobody. But are you washing your hands more? You washing your hands and using sanitizer more? I don't, I don't, I don't see nobody like that. Are you going to wear a mask when you go out? Hold on. Shit. He trying to turn this shit into a R. Kelly interview. Getting up, walking off. I don't know what none of my shit is, Will. Where what is? None of my shit. Oh. Is it something that you need for the interview? Is it? Is it? Yes. What is it? Maybe I can help you find it. My guitar. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Whatever you do, don't plug it up to a speaker. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm um my social distancing, man. This is my that's probably the only motherfucker I'm gonna be around, man. My guitar. So wearing a mask, I don't even go outside, man. Nothing out there. You know. Probably gotta buy another iPad for my uh, little girl because she broke hers, but that's it. Put your, put your face in the frame, man, for people that just coming in. Which frame? Right there. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back, Willie. Yeah. So when I when I get this, when I get this, uh, uh, I get my dialysis and shit set up where I can carry the machine and shit. We should go on tour before our last shit forever. Y'all let me know if y'all ready for that. Y'all ready for another one last ghetto boys tour? The last one. Like, and then like we'll we'll do a fucking um a podcast. And and you can give your views and I can give mine. That'd be wild. <laughs> yeah, I know my views are twisted, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, somebody say your Scarface Willie D trying to do a serious interview. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I, I tell him I've always been. I, 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 I stopped trying to do a, I stopped trying to do a serious interview about five seconds into the interview. <laughs> 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 nah, man. Like I've always been like this. It's, it's nothing. Um... Man, let me tell y'all something. One day we was on the phone. We was on a conference call, doing an interview with a with a journalist in uh, Switzerland. Right? Was that Switzerland? When we when I... we, we got back together in '96. Yes. So we all, me, Brad, and Bill, we're in the conference room at Rap a Lot, and we're doing a. A, a, an interview and this guy is talking I, I gotta call him a reporter because a journalist would know better so this guy is asking us all these questions that he should already know like preliminary questions and Brad gets so irritated that he just hang up the phone he didn't go over meal bill or nothing he just hung the damn phone up then asked the group no we didn't take a vote or nothing and this is a huge interview we nailed this interview. We got all of Switzerland. It's the biggest hip hop magazine in Switzerland. And this dude hung the damn phone up on dude. Walked out that motherfucker. And boy. walked out the door. Man, boy, I was hot. 
But this is the type of stuff he do, man. This is this is what he this is this this, this the shit he got he do, and I gotta deal with this stuff, man. No, man, that's not true. That's the not true. Get back together, man. That's not true. That is not true. Well, give us the so shit. You, no, 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 wait, no, wait, no, no, fucking way. No, 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 no. So you saying that it was me? That was your fault that time. I mean, so you but you saying it was me though. That yeah, you hung. You're not supposed to hang the phone up oh, on. Man. It's all of our interview. You gotta take a vote on something like that. Right or wrong, fam. Right or wrong. That's right. But I don't I don't listen. So it was me that fucked it up. Like I didn't fuck the group up. You didn't fuck what up? The group. No, 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 no. We took turns fucking the group up. But I'm saying on that day, you fucked up. On that day. That was your turn. What about when you just left, nigga? Like for real. Like King. My my bad King. Like, what well, what about when you just fucking left? First of all, I didn't just fucking leave. Bullshit. We, had a conversation. Bullshit. You left. we, we talked about that a whole oh, year. Fuck no. Let me tell you what happened. You did the same thing that Jukebox, Brady Red, and Johnny C did. Left. <laughs> we had a conversation. That's a lie. That's bullshit. Well, you left. That's, that's a lie. Even, even for, 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 for months when we were doing shows, I was even going through grooming Big Mellow because I thought Big Mellow was going to step in and play nah. some when I was gone. Rest in peace, Big Mellow. Man, we on stage one night, man, and Willie just said, fuck it. Me and Bill started right, that looking at each other. Don't believe that, man. Don't believe that. This this dude, you know, a pair of lips to say anything. Y'all know that. Nah, Willie, we love you, man. And I can't wait to put this shit back together and do one last tour. I'm a, I'm a farewell ghetto boys. I'm a farewell my goddamn self. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm go into politics. Daryl Alexander say, uh, stay safe, face, get well soon. No doubt, man. Here we go, y'all. Much love to everybody that tuned in. Said, need that ASAP, please come through Pittsburgh. 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 Yeah. House, the key sport. What up, though? Yeah. Uh, who is yeah, this? Let's hop back on tomorrow, Will. Huh? Let's hop back on tomorrow. I'm down. Yeah, let's, let's, down. Let, 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 let's touch on some issues, man. I think it's time that people really, you know, touch on some other issues too. Oh, I, and I love your racist white boy. Uh, I love that. What is it called? Make it a racist. Oh, 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 uh, 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 how to make a how that. to make a racist? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, but you forgot one fucking piece. What's the piece? Cave hey, man. Huh? Caveman. What? Never mind, man. Caveman. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lord help me. All right. Uh, <laughs> I know. Say, man, something. Wait, wait, a, a, say, ask you shall receive. Now, listen here, man. Uh, I'm glad you came on, man, and cleared some things up. See, we keep, people just been asking me over and over and over again. Hi, Scarface. Hi, Scarface. Tell them we praying for them. So you got a lot of man. It ain't just the people that's on your on your platform that's that's riding for you, that's praying for you, man. It's, it's no people. doubt, no I doubt. Even, I even just seen uh, different stuff on other platforms that that you probably not even aware of. With people just showing love and just expressing uh, their concern for you. So I'm glad you were able to come on here and clear. Yeah, up man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And, and, that and you're all right. We have neighbors that are second to none in, in, in our community that really looked out for me too. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like dropping shit off at the doors and, 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 and making sure that we had everything. But I was going through some terrible shit, man. And I was hanging on a thread of life and and, and this lady pulled me out the grave and I owe her, you know what I mean? Like I owe her my life for that shit. Cause right. you know, like my brother Warren and my daughter now, there's no way that I could have did this shit without them. Mm -hmm. There's no way that this could have happened. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, the, the, the damnest thing, my pastor told me that one of my closest friend's wives was a nephrologist. That's how this shit worked out. So I called my partner and I told my partner what I was going through. He put his wife on the phone and I was in the hospital in, you know, five hours. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of how shit worked out. Cause I was gonna wait till you was already you know, in the bed. You was in the bed at in five hours. Within five hours, you're in the bed. Hey, baby girl, what's up? 
nothing, nothing. Just enjoy life. You getting dressed? What's you not coming back. No, not funny. We're, we're funny to go hang out. What? I, I, I'm not gonna, I will just tie it back up. Pick up a hitchhiker. What? <laughs> I love it. If you can, wear it down. Yes. We're trying to argue. Here we go with this bullshit. He's older. I'm sorry. You're older. That's fucking right. So we get ready to fight because I want my kid. Like, like, so Blair's hair comes all the way down to the fucking floor. And we're going to wear it down today. Right, B? I don't care. Where are we going to go? I'm talking to Willie. Tell Willie and my baby girl come back here looking like a lioness with all this community. <laughs> I don't care. What she right, said? Love you, man. I gotta go. What she said? Say my baby gonna come back here looking like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fam. I'm gonna keep it going. Much love to you, baby. Absolutely.